friends, we are back at the antique mall looking for more deals today. Looking at her again. Seeing what we missed last time. And it's nice, it's only been a week since I've been here and there's already like new stuff and it's moved around. A little. I was coming back to look for that lipstick girl, but it looks like she sold. It's cute. How much were you again? Oops. 35. Yeah. I may do a voiceover again, guys, because there is music. This is cool. We looked at these guys last time. These are cool. My corn shakers just aren't selling well, guys, though. That's only 10, so they'd be 7. Quite a few shakers have sold. These girls are still here. They're 10. I think I'm going to get them, though, because they're kind of Christmassy. Ooh, poodles, guys. Let's see how much the poodles are. 15. All the beautiful hobnail. Fall colors. Oh, these would be so pretty for fall, wouldn't they? 25. It's getting busy, guys. Oh, she's gone. Oh no, one of the things I wanted is gone, guys, I think. It's been replaced with candles. Where's the figurine I was looking for? And now I don't see her. There's all your chalk, chalk heads. I'm going to have to do some searching around here, guys, because I'm looking for a figurine that may be gone now. I found what I was looking for, guys, so now I can keep filming. Oh, Christy, Christy, Christy. Are you watching, Christy? Look what I found. Christy, look. Ten dollars. It does look like the hinge is broken. It no longer hinges. Let's see if it's got a made in. It does not say where it's made. So I think that one's going to stay because it is damaged. But Christy, look at your metal boxes. This looks like that Japanese painted. Yep, Noritake. For eight. The dogs are still so cute little amber guys we can take our time today guys it's gonna be fun you may hear some people in the background talking i think she's funny i like her a lot i'm hoping you guys can hear me i've got my mask and everything on i'm looking for some fall amber stuff for you guys we went through them last time they were a little i still recognize her from something I want to say maybe this is a Holt Howard, no? She's 17. She's adorable. I like the little frogs and the little birds. 
stork. This is new. Chrome elephant. This guy still cracks me up. Seven dollars. Oh, right, excavation. That's kind of cool. Kind of a commercial piece. I don't know. It's kind of neat. I still love that poodle, guys. That's a little lamb planter. Now this is where my phone crashed last time, so let's hope it doesn't crash on me this time. As we get finally to the back section here. So many goodies, guys. This place is just amazing. So if you're ever in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, Jeff's Antiques, you gotta come check it out, guys. These are cool. Piece of neon, that's neat. Mannequins, oh. Alex might like that from Chapter 2 Vintage. Let's take a look at some more glassware, guys. See if we've got anything cool here. My husband wants me to see if I can find a Daffy Duck. I'm not seeing the Daffy. We've got some cute quilts going on. Up, oh, Christy, it's your milk glass and a top nail. Are we gonna have a focus issue again? Christy, look at all the hobnail. I actually think I'm going to get this set here. Because that doesn't seem bad. $12 for the set and 30% off. $3.60 off. About $8. What do you think? White Milk Fenton Memorial Day Sale 1997. We've got a little fairy lamp. So I think I'm going to pick these guys up. So, Christy, if you're watching, let me know if you're interested in those. I know you said, oh, we've got more white milk glass over here. Why is it not focusing? I'm sorry, guys. I don't know how much you missed, so I'm going to go back around. I don't know why my camera just does not like to focus in here. Maybe I get excited and I'm moving a little too fast. Those are cool too, huh? I've not seen these before. Check those suckers out. They're heavy. $20. We'll keep our little fencing guys for now. Oh, look at this glass art right down. Here, that's pretty. Nesting ducks. So we're gonna we're gonna try it this way and see if maybe my finger was in the way. But I love this piece. But she is 45, so I can't get her today. But I think she is awesome. And then if you need hardware, let me step back here. Look at all the goodies. So I'm going to hope that this doesn't go whole weird on me again. I mean, this is just super cool. I'm going to flip you around. See if I can keep my finger out of the way. Tons of postcards. Oh, look at that. Perfect. They're a dollar each. Edward Warren's painting of the unveiling of the Statue of Liberty. You guys know I love New York and New York stuff, so I'm going to get that for me. And look, it was just sticking up waiting for me. That is very cool. Oh, San Francisco. It's a shame with everything going on on the West Coast right now. So we're definitely going to have to get that postcard. That was fate. Nope, my finger's still in the way, guys. I don't know what to do. Look at all these little guys. I have no idea. 
tons of awesome ephemera. Sneak anyone? Look at the cool cast iron mermaids. Typewriters. Don't let my husband see that. There's just awesome, awesome pieces everywhere. Cabinet card books. They're probably, yeah, they're usually $75 to $100. That's reasonable. Look at that cool mixing canisters. This guy's cool. You know me in thermoses. And he's 15. That's cool. But we'll, we're going to put you back for now. If I can do that. That's cool, guys. Pins. All your little bits and pieces. I want to show you guys, look, there's even all this cool jewelry, too. Which I have, like, three more boxes coming from Alex. But look at this pig, guys. I want to show you this. Check him out. How cool is that? Some original Tupperware. These are kind of neat. What are these guys? Stew plates. Very cool. Card people. For all my playing card people watching, check this out. It's a whole shelf of playing cards. Does it say five dollars a pack? <laughs> okay, that's cute. I might have to pick up a couple of these. Cheers. Some unique ones, guys. Fabulous Vegas. But I think this that one cracked me up. Where'd it go? I think we might have to get that one and see what else we can find in here. And this Bell Credit Union one's cool. Look all the bottles, five dollars each. That's really good price. Up, oh, there's all your corningware, guys. They were, yeah, on that were, right I think they were $5 a pack. Okay, yeah. I totally missed this Christmas section, guys. Look at all the cool lights. More pretty glass. Look at all of the Christmas, guys. So after I show you this Christmas, I'm going to sign off, guys, and then I'll do a haul with this. Just because it is starting to get a little busy in here and a little loud. But look. Alright, guys. So what I decided to do, because there was still so much good stuff, is I just went ahead and I muted the video. And I'm just doing a voiceover for this portion. So this section I was a little torn on. These were all vintage wall pockets. And I think they were originally 17, reduced to 14. So I was just kind of looking around at this section. There was an inappropriate magazine that I'm glad I don't think I managed to pan on. <laughs> you just never know. That I thought was really cute. You kind of, I guess, hold it over your grocery list and check off which items you want. I may not have shown the wall pockets I got. I thought I did. We'll see. This was like the kitchen area with all the good kitchen goodies. All the Pyrex and Corningware, Corel. 
you know, the store, when I first got there, the store was quiet and like I was the only one in there within half an hour, people started coming in, which is great because, you know, we want these antique stores to have business. We want them to stay open. So I was happy to see that they got busy, but it was just a lot of people talking and yelling back and forth. So I said, do the voice voiceover. Just kind of checking out all the, the Pyrex. It's not really my thing, but it's always fun to kind of look and learn. A little nostalgia. Now I think I'm heading to the bronze section. All the pretty things in the case. These were all at a pretty decent price, which, you know, if you're buying for yourself is fine. Is where they should be, but there were there were some really pretty pieces in there. I was trying to show you guys. I like the owls, but I think that a single owl was fourteen and the other one was ten. I thought it was fourteen for the set. I almost got it, but they were each priced separately. Yeah, see, ten and fifteen, I think. So I'm not sure, and then I tried to look at the poodle for you guys. That was 30. I'm still on the hunt, guys. I'm determined to find poodles for you. <laughs> and I, I didn't have much luck with linens this past month either. I've been trying to find some linens for my live sale, so i have just kind of digging through here to see if there's any pretty fall ones. I'm not sure about handkerchiefs. Do you guys like handkerchiefs? Leave me a note in the comments. Let me know if that's something that you're into. I wasn't sure, so in the end, I ended up not getting any of those. I'm just digging and looking. There was one or two I did like, but there was a lot of yellow staining on them, so I was worried I couldn't get that out. I didn't want to have something I couldn't clean for you guys. That one was kind of cool colors. The mint. I think these I was on the fence about, and then I think I saw some yellowing, so I ended up not getting them. I just wasn't wasn't sure what to do with them. I thought the gold was kind of pretty for fall. I was trying to see if there was staining. I think one might have had a spot on it. I can't remember now. That one was cute, but it had yellow staining in the center. It was part of a set. And then there was all the beautiful bronze. Bronze as far as the eye could see. I loved that tall candle holder. So you have all the bronze and cast metals. I thought that inlay bird tray was kind of neat. And that was a door knocker. That was pretty solid. Oh, actually, that's funny. So if you guys watched my Sunday mini haul, I just panned past a set of shell bronze bookends, and they look like the ones I just found at Habitat for Humanity, so that's pretty funny. I really like these. Like, I'm not normally frilly, but I thought those were cool. Those little candle, candle wall sconces, the flowers. Reminds me of a uh, Selena from the Recycled Life. This was a bank. This guy was adorable. I thought twelve dollars was a good price for him at thirty percent off. Made in Japan. Still had its cork. No damage. I was curious what that figurine was. It was a little choir boy. I think it was a left in piece. And there was, so I, I picked him up. There was a little bit of weirdness under the neck, but it was like a manufactured glazing defect. I was trying to show you guys. It wasn't damage. All the amber glass. That um, one piece, I know I've seen the Indiana glass, was beautiful. I think I was playing with the lid, which is why you're looking at the ground. And I probably didn't catch any photos of it on the left there that was really pretty but it was heavy so to ship that just it would have been crazy this was a really neat booth 
There was just so much to take in. And these were awesome. These were Vaseline glass. They do glow. You'll see that I actually used this shot for my picture. They were $25 a piece. I may have to go back at some point for one for myself. But they're very cool. Fenton. They were Fenton fairy lamps. I just never seen them like that before. I was hoping it was $25 for the pair. <laughs> Wishful thinking. <laughs> Lots of pretty Fenton glass. That was a pretty amber color glassware. That's some really pretty glassware. I just don't know a lot about glass right now, so I hope to learn. That piece was super cute. It was $39 reduced to $25. And it was McCoy. It was labeled McCoy Planter. I did buy that one for myself for my collection because it was a cat. This section did have, you'll see, a case full of planters and I was dying because there were some beautiful whole pieces and everything in there. But I had to pace myself. Those molds on the wall were pretty neat. I was trying to get to them, but I was afraid to take them off because it was hard to get to them. They were ceramic. They were marked between $12 to $18 each. I wasn't sure. I'd never seen anything like that. Let me know if you guys like that. I thought if it was springtime, it would have been better for those. Yeah, like that one was $15, but I just wasn't, it's not the right season for those. And then trying to get them off the wall, I was, I was just worried I'd drop it on something. The mid-century frogs were very cool. Creepy doll. <laughs> These mirrors were neat. There's that beautiful hole piece. And look at the woodwork on this. I, I came back to film the dresser for you. It was just beautiful. There I am. And all the hundred good weather. Here is all the pottery, guys. I kind of regret not getting her now. I didn't get her. I think she was, yes, and she was $12 and 30% off. So if you think I should have got her, let me know. I just, she didn't have any markings. I wasn't sure. She was pretty. I couldn't tell if her flowers had been broken or not was the only thing. That's why I wasn't, I wasn't entirely sure. You can see I'm debating. She's so delicate, like, delicate pieces just worry me that I'm going to end up breaking them. Here's a giant piano baby. And then there was all, I think those were Joseph originals, and then all the beautiful pottery. I liked her, she was fun. Those candle holders were neat. I liked those uh, cowboys. They were cool. And this was kind of neat. It was rotating. Now, I recognized those little bottle things there on the bottom. I remember Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage. She found one like really inexpensive, but I forget what they are. I think they were vintage perfume bottles, but I just thought kind of watching that would be neat. Then this was like a cast iron section where everything was made of cast iron. It was just an amazing selection for the end user. It was good pricing. I really liked the little cat there, but I, I think it was like $30. I was trying to get to the owl to see what the owl was. I think he was 
won't focus. 18. And that was a bank. So that was old. That was really neat. $25. I almost wish I'd gotten that for my personal collection. I don't know. It was just kind of really a different piece. But... Scotty Dogs, more ships, the barrel, where it's neat. Just so many cool pieces, then all the ball jars up above. Door stops. Like I said, just a fun mall to look around. I like the Cocker Spaniel. He was big and heavy. <laughs> Lots of little Scotty Dogs. And I didn't realize, guys, that that's where it cut out. So thanks for watching. Remember to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will be back with you later.